do love my avocados for breakfast. Um, avocados and eggs. Smoked salmon, scrambled egg, avocado. Um, I always have it with a little bit of toast, either at the moment we've got wholemeal, but otherwise I'd have like sourdough or rye bread, that kind of thing. Just because it's kind of um, slow burn carbs for me in the day because I'm busy and active all during the day. Do you want to read to me yeah. while I'm having my breakfast? It is a dog. Now Layla, do you know this letter? Mm. Mm. <laughs> done that letter. What letter is that? Mm. <laughs> I find that in the mornings we get the most from Layla. Her attention levels are a little bit higher and also I just find it's a really nice 10-15 minutes before she goes to school in the morning that we kind of get a bit of quality time together. Z well done. No. You know that one. <laughs> Two. Yeah. High five. Let's go. Sit okay, in the back as well. So could you put your shoes on for me, please? Going to school today, darling. I can't see. Layla. <laughs> your gloves are in my car. I used to be that person that was always on time. Until I had a child. <laughs> Thank you. Shall we go? You need your hats. Unlocked. Okay. Right, you ready? So it's just after nine, about five past nine. I've just dropped Layla off at school. So now I'm heading back to mine because I've got my first PT session at my house this morning and I'll make my lunch while I'm waiting for them and then first PT session in about 20 minutes. So as soon as I get in the door on a Tuesday after I've dropped Layla off at school, I come in and I make my lunch for the day because I won't actually walk back through my door now until gone half past three. Um, and this is why it's really good having kids, because you get to use travel side forks, which are perfect. <laughs> People always think that eating healthy means spending hours in the kitchen, prepping and that kind of thing. It really doesn't. I mean, that's just taken me 10 minutes to create and I made my own sauce with it. Um, okay, I cheated slightly with the sushi, but it's really healthy. Um, and then for our tea tonight, we've got chicken stir fry. So, you know, noodles, rice noodles already made. We do buy pre-packed um, stir-fry veg. You can make it yourself, but because we only have an hour, it's quite easy just to throw it in. Um, and then with some chicken, and it'll, again, it'll make, take 10 minutes, and it's really healthy and fulfilling dinner in the cold weather, you know. So, salads in the summer, stir-fries in the winter. It's great. Hey. Morning. How you doing? Ooh. Come in. So client that's coming now is a lady called Alex. Um, I met her three years ago when she was pregnant with her first child. She was really suffering with SPD and PGP, which are kind of pelvic problems um, that pregnant ladies can suffer with. Trained her through her pregnancy and then after she'd had her daughter, um, I've been training her ever since. Okay, so how are you feeling today? You saw yeah, actually, uh, I've been trying to keep my foot straight. Good. She instructed. Yes. Um, but consequently, quite sore there. I think while it's just so around the hip, why it's kind of learning to come forward yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. Long, okay. long, long day yesterday. So. Okay. So, okay. is it just the hip that's hurting uh, from the your well. your yeah, feeling yeah, yeah. essential as well? Sore as well yeah. So, what we'll probably do then, Alex, we'll probably ditch the barbell today, but we'll bring a weight in just so that we're a little bit more yeah. controlled. If it hurts, you have to tell me. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. so today is not about going fast. Today is about having that control movement. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? Ready, small cool. one? Yeah. Let's do it. Then. This 
Sarah works me really hard, but I need that. The worst bit wasn't actually during pregnancy, it was after. It was agony, and I had pain for like a year and a half afterwards, and it was horrific. And I could walk, and I put on, I put on more weight than I had during my pregnancy. And I realised that I didn't like any photos of me with my daughter. I didn't have any. I had four chins, and I just felt enormous, and I hadn't realised how big I got. And it was actually really affecting my self-esteem and my kind of my life. If you look at the photos of Alex, then to now. Alex has probably lost close to about 30 inches. Her whole attitude towards what she eats in the mornings, what she eats on the go. She's made real small changes that have been massively effective. Again, it's small changes. Alex couldn't move, she was static when we started. Now, she's lunging, she's squatting, she's using the barbell, she's using the sandbag. But, we're now, now that we've got that, now we're really slowly, steadily bringing that pelvis back. So here's me and Alex, we're part way through the session now and we've had to kind of amend Alex's session today because she was suffering a little bit with her SPD, um, so her pelvic girdle pain. We've been working on keeping her foot forwards and she's doing fabulously with that at the moment, although she'd probably disagree and it's probably hurting her right now, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> you enjoying it, Alex? Mm. <laughs> Enjoying might be the wrong word. But yes, <laughs> feeling the benefits. Feeling the benefits. We'll, we'll go with the benefits of that as well. Tap it down, control it. Never take it to a point of pain though, Alex. Come down and up. Step backwards and forward. Bend the knees, not the back. Push it up. Don't go too far. I've just finished my first PT session of the day and we're jumping back in the car now, heading up the village ready to see my next one, which is actually a duo. So I see two ladies at once um, and that will be kicking off in about 10 minutes time. So I've got 10 minutes to get there, get the kit out, get set up and get going with them. The thing for these ladies is that they really enjoy their training but they hate it at the same time. So what I try and do is get the bit that they really struggle with out of the way first. Done. Well done. Three, two, one, go. You're gonna have to count, I'm afraid, ladies. I think when I first met Kate, I said, so Kate, tell me why would you like to do PT? And she went, because I don't want to turn into a pudding. I started training with Roan on her own, and then these two met doing Pilates together in my Pilates class, and we kind of combined the two. Easy's not always better. <laughs> Come on, Kate. I want a little bit deeper than that, please. If I'd have joined the gym, I wouldn't be there now. I would get a bit sweaty and think, OK, that's it, I'm done, I've worked really hard. I'm clueless. Since training with Sarah, yeah, a huge difference in terms of strength, flexibility. How's that feel? It's good. Really tough, but I enjoy it. Because I do an hour with Sarah a week and I do another hour Pilates, that's my time. You get a real sense of achievement out of, out of doing it. I wouldn't push myself as hard as she pushes me. <laughs> Job well done, I think. <laughs> It's now just turned 12 o'clock and I've turned up for my third client of the day. 
uh, about to do an hour's workout with her. Uh, she has her own gym and bits and pieces that she's now created in her outdoor double garage. So we tend to use all of her facilities for her session and she brings her little one into the garage with her too. I've got a chest thing going on. So, so we'll... running out today. Uh, let's give it a go because I feel mentally, I feel like I need it. Okay. I'm quite goal orientated, so I want my body to be back to a certain level. There's no way I'm going to get that without putting the work in in here. Ready? Three, two, one, and go. Go, go, go. Me and Charlotte met when we both had our children, uh, which was just over five years ago, 2011. We just kind of hit it off. I set up Fit Drop, Charlotte runs her own business, so she got busy with the business. So I trained her through her second pregnancy, and she's doing phenomenally well because she trained throughout <coughs> this third pregnancy, um, all the way up until due date, really. Good, Charlotte all the way to the end, 10 more seconds to go. Charlotte's really good, she's set a time this time now in her diary, so it's there and it's part of her day. And we work around school hours and yeah, it's, it's a juggling act, but she does it well. Three, two, and one, good, nice. Yeah, I think it helps that Sarah's a parent as well, so she's quite empathetic to you know, the struggles, if I've been up all night with the babies, or I've got the demands of kids, and the pull of family and business. And the belt's gonna stop. Good work, well done. Okay, coming off, just shake it out a little bit. Some days are good, some days are bad, but I don't aim to be thin. I like having some definition. I don't want to look ripped. I just want to look strong, and the feeling I get from being strong, I can just complete anything. So now I've got my longest gap in the day, which is 30 minutes. So I'm going to stay and have a quick bite to eat with Charlotte, just for 10 minutes, eat my lunch, and then I'll be hopping back in the car ready for my last PT before I pick my daughter back up from school. So it's just coming up to half past one now and I'm just about to pull into my final PT session. It's a Pilates session this time, so it's not quite such the burn as everybody else has had so far off me this morning. It's a little bit more about the core and the strength and the control and the alignment too. So I'll check back in with you afterwards. And as you can see, I've got 234 emails. Got a, quite a few emails to now try and quickly whip through before I have to head back out the door again in just 20 minutes time. So when I'm not teaching, I am mummy. Layla has now got her snack and we're gonna play and build some amazing Lego things. So what are we gonna build, Layla? I wanna build that one. Let's give it a go. Do you think you can do it? Yes. All right, let's give it a go then. We've finished our tea and we have finished our Lego as well. Today I made this helicopter, but at Grandma's house I made these two. It's bath time for her, so I'm going to pop her in the bath quickly before I head back out for my night shift. So I've just arrived at the hall now. So time now is 10 past six so i've now got about 15 minutes in order to get this haul looking pilates ready
Why do you come to Pilates? What do you enjoy about it? Um, Sarah's class is absolutely brilliant. Um, she's so knowledgeable and um, it's just time for me. I absolutely love Pilates. I both love it a lot. Mm. Mine's mine strength. Strength and core. And what did you think of tonight's class? Hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was hard, but it's always hard. And did you like the mannequin challenge? <laughs> we chose the wrong move. Yeah, we definitely chose the wrong move. But we enjoyed it. <laughs> so you'll see all of the ladies are just finishing up. We've just tidied up the hall, put all the mats away. Um, and it's time for me now to go home and relax. 12 hours after I originally left. Before I settle down now for the evening, I'm going to do my uh, rolling. So just make sure that everything's completely rolled out, nice and stretched after a 12 day stint doing lots of kind of jumping around and training and bits and pieces. So I'm just going to hop on the roll and just do a little bit first. So first I'm just going to get down and just do tops of my legs. So time now, it's coming up just to 10 past 10 um, and it's time for me to hit the hay and uh, recharge my batteries and get a good 7-8 hours sleep in my belt ready to go again, all over again tomorrow. So thanks very much, Nana. I honestly believe what I roll on I can get. It's just the only thing stopping me is me. You could pay anyone just to make you tired, but you're paying me, you know, good money to look at look at you and help break you down and then build you back up again.